What's up everybody? This is JC from Hobby Monster. Today we're gonna open up this crazy looking sketchy uh, repack boxes um, from Warm Walmart. Um, I've seen Jeff's family actually open these up and try to look for all these redemption cards or redemption memorabilia. If we can score it, that'd be amazing. But if we don't, this is just gonna be another garbage repack um ah, they are from uh what is it made out of world's greatest cardchase.com um probably not gonna find anything but i just wanted to try it out so you guys don't have to make the same mistake so i'm taking one for the team um there should be a bunch of packs from like old packs wax boxes probably oh so let me open it up i may not just open up like all these packs but just going to see what we can get out of and you guys can make your own decision whether you want to do it or not oh man there's a tape on the top of the box all right cool so let's see what we get a bunch of packs Oof, look at that those are all the packs i can get uh we got babe ruth collection from 1992 we got score 90 uh, 93 Donruss and 91. So let me just put the thing in a chronological order. Another 92, opening day in 2019. Hmm. And 89, 89, uh, picture card from 88 and 88. And this is a Donruss series one from, uh, let's see, doesn't say. I have no idea where what year this is from. 91. Uh, okay, so let me just open up like this. 91, 93, and this is old looking card is from 89. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't know what these cards actually do, but I'm looking for the redemption. So I'm just gonna open up all three boxes and see whether we got redemption or not if we didn't then we'll pick like a couple packs maybe not all of them because i don't think it's really worth your time or my time so let's see it uh we got one of these already we got score 90 downrest 93 91 we got another one of these opening day babe ruth 89 89 um, and second series, uh, this is already busted um, for 88, 88, and this is 91. All right, so same exact packs, no redemption. My last pack, <clears throat> I already regretting <laughs> that I bought this box. We never know. I mean, I'll open up all these packs eventually and see what I can get out of but if I don't find any redemption which is almost impossible to get I think it's really just a old bunch of old wax packs all right we got score Donruss 92 um, and we got opening day again uh, 89 Babe Ruth 89 tops baseball and all that all right so for the sake of everyone's time, I'm gonna do relatively more recent ones. So I'm gonna open up anything after 91. How about that? So we, we don't have to waste all our time with all these wax packs. So let me do 91. There's 93. And 90s, I'll just take it back. And there's another 93. And I think that's it. And we'll save all these like packs for later dates. Um, so a lot of wax packs that I did not want to open up, but we'll see. All right, let's start with the 91 Major League Baseball. This is Upper Deck 91. I don't remember who is a rookie from 91, and hopefully these cards are in a good shape, meaning it's not stuck together or anything like that. All right, so let me just clean that up. All right, we got Team Leary, uh, Jeff Robinson, Pedro Guerrero and those upside down cars are not really upside down, they're just the way it is. Baseball Heroes, Len Butlucker, 
collector's choice. Who is that? Uh, Ramon Martinez. All right, so I know this guy. Paul Gibson, Greg Bond. Not sure what are the rookie cards from this 91. Howard Johnson, Fernando Valle Valezuela. And this crazy looking sticker of Detroit Tigers. Look at that. I'll take it. That's a nice hollow right there. That's pretty cool. And Travis Freeman. That's his uh, second year. And Bill Wegman, Pete O'Brien, Roy Smith, and Walt Terrell. All right, moving on to the next pack. Same exact pack, 91 upper deck. All right, look at that. Dale Murphy, Willie Banks, Collector's Choice, Cincinnati, Mike Morgan, George Brett, and we got Corey Snyder, Mark McGuire, not his rookie card, but that's always good to have Mark McGuire, and Boston Red Sox, another hollow, nice. I love these stickers, pretty cool one. Dwight Gooden, that's his like 60 year. Joey Cora, Tony Castillo, Greg Harris, uh, this guy, Greg Olson, Hansley Mullins, and then Mike Walker. So, I guess they, they are just the regular base card. And we're going to move on to 92 Stadium Club. Let's see what we can get out of. Um, I think, did not get a, uh, not from 92, but we got pretty cool rookie out of it last time uh, they're all like upside down so we'll go like this all right we got Royce Clayton and Neil Heaton Jr. Noboa and Craig Leffert John Smiley and a very much expired club membership and Jeff Manto uh, who are the rookies? Oh, this is a pretty cool card. Ruben Amaro. We got Paul Kilgus. Jeez, Danny Neagle. I, I know this guy. He was a pitcher for Indians. Um, is this his rookie card? It is his rookie card. All right, so we got one rookie. Let me see. They're all rookie cards. Oh, uh, Tops W. Oh, no, never mind. The rookie card is 91 Tops W, so it's not his rookie card. That's very nice. Nolan Ryan. It's always good to have Nolan Ryan. And we got Kirk, this guy. Arthur Rose. I know this guy. He's been a good reliever for, for the longest time, but not his rookie card. Uh, Dwayne Henry. And we got Barry Bonds, Member's Choice. That's a very interesting card. I guess one of the insert card. It has a little shiny on the bottom. That's cool. And we got Eric King. Moving on to 93, we got three Donruss 93. Who are the rookies from 93? I don't remember, it's such a long, long time ago. Channel Park was Otis Nixon, Mark Kiefer, Craig Shipbury, John Jaha, Kevin McReynolds, Willie Banks, uh, Bobby Thingman, Todd Hundley, uh, Paul, Vince Horseman, Jack Morris, Great Jack Morris. It was a good, it was a decent pitcher, I guess. Greg Colburn, Mark West Chamberlain. Man, I'm glad these packs are not stuck together. Some of the older packs I bought were all stuck together. It was kind of worthless. Uh, Greg Harris, Kevin Campbell, John Burkett. He he pitched for a while. He also pitched for Red Sox at one point. Kevin Mitchell. We got Diamond. Kings of Ryan Sandberg. So it's one of the older insert. Todd Hunley again. This guy, Bobby Ariella, Scott Erickson, Mike Jackson, Jeff Kent with a Mets uniform. Huh. That's pretty cool. That's a second year, I think. Brian Hunter and Eddie Murray. All right, last pack of two, nine, 2013, uh, 1993, Alosuna, Tino Martinez, that was his fourth year, Henry Rodriguez, Esbrager, Oz Guillen, Joski, Dante Bishop, Eric Wedge, Mike Sims, Dennis Martinez, 
uh, Guillermo Velacruz, Marcus Grissom, uh, Mark Leonard, and Doc Simmons. All right, so now let's go to the more familiar packs in opening day. I never actually opened up any of these packs. Uh, I know they're still selling it on the shelf for in Target or Walmart. Mitch Henniger, Rafael Devers, Brendan Crawford, and opening day New York Mets. With Maryfield, Robinson Cano, and Jose Barrios. So I guess you're not gonna find a uh, rookie card from here, but Albert Amora, Jonathan Scoop, and we got Javier Baez, blue parallel, not numbered, but that's a pretty cool one. Um, all right, and then David Ortiz, it's a nice card, nice looking card. Sus Aguilar, Kyle Gibson, and Freddie Freeman. Last pack. We got Derek Rodriguez, Carlos Rodon, Yadiel Molina, and Pepsi Stadium. Bryce Harper, rookie Yusei Kikuchi. All right, and Charlie Blackman. So, um, takeaway from this. Uh, don't buy those sketchy boxes that you never heard of. Um, when they say they have a graded cars or um, some of the, uh, the memorabilia redemption, it's probably impossible to get one. Um, I don't even know what they even say about the odds, but I'm assuming it's one out of like millions. So, and you're not really getting anything good out of it. So don't bother buying these packs, these bags, or even any other repack packages from, you know, the Targets and uh, Walmart. So that's the lesson. Um, I have a, I'm now with all these wax packs, I'm probably gonna open it offline and see what I can get out of. Probably nothing too crazy, but now I'm a wax pack rich. <laughs> I have way too many right now. Anyways, uh, it was I just wanted to try it out so you guys can make a better decision when you when you see those on the shelf from Walmart or Target, but my conclusion would be don't buy it, but it's up to you, it's your money. <laughs> All right, so please comment below, let me know how I, how I did it. Please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, I'm gonna come back with another baseball unboxing. Till then, see ya.